Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at the displace function, a problem with it, how to fix the problem, and how to use that fix for creative purposes. So let's start off. Say I want to put some text on here, and this is the classic use of the displace. So I take the artistic text here, drag until I get something of appropriate size, and then say market hall here and it's already set to a blue which sort of matches in here and i can sort of play with the text size in here let's zoom in this to see if this is a bit better there we go now i'll slope this to make it fit with the lines of the wooden roof there so i take the cursor up to just underneath the middle there until i get a left right cursor there now i can shear it until it fits in here which is great now then to make it fit on here i need to get a displace you can get the displace up here the filters uh, is that's the uh, and the filters distort and displace there but that is destructive so i use the non-destructive one which i get from over here and up to displace there now then if I change the strength here, nothing happens because I need to load a map first to tell it where to displace. And so I only use the load the map from the layers beneath, which will pick up from this underneath here. And you can see already what's happening, that it's kind of breaking up the edges here, in particular where it's going over these bumps, but it's getting a bit rough here. In fact, if I turn this up, it sort of very quickly explodes into something that's pretty useless. Because what happens with this is that where there's a contrast change within that layer underneath within the factory, the map, which is really just a monochrome image of this, um, it varies, it pushes the, the, the this layer this way and that. Which when we go over these lines here is great, but everywhere else with the tiny changes in here, it's still doing it and breaking up this. So I want to fix that. So a way to fix that is go to the layer underneath and put in a Gaussian blur. Now we're going to turn up the blur here and you can see this here and I want to get it so there is that you can still see the main lines you want to use but it's blurred the tiny detail. So this is, yeah, this is around about one or two, depends upon the, old, the resolution of the picture you want. Now when I go back up here, it's not changed this because I need to load the map. So I click load map from layers beneath. And now they are a lot better, isn't it? So I can click this and as I move it across, you can see it rolling across those things like it's going in and out of those bumps. However, the layer underneath now is blurred, but that's no problem because I can turn off the blur. And this still works like this because it has retained the map from before, the blurred map. And so I've got a nice thing here, which is going to fit in here and look like it was almost painted there. And you can play with things like that. You can reduce the opacity, which can help you to look more realistic. However, we're going to start again and do something more creative. And that is, we're going to take the picture itself, control J to duplicate it, and then displace that. So I go to here and get to the displace. And I load map from the underlying layer, so the fact of itself, and turn up this. And you get that exploding breakup again, which is just turns the whole thing into mess. The worst areas effectively are where there is lots of contrast change like this. You might want this as a creative effect, that's fine, but you might want something that looks a bit more like the original. So let's go back and do the original that we had before. So I go in here and same technique, bottom layer, put on a blur and do a preserve alpha and turn the radius up and Nothing's happening but because we need to load the map. Double click this here. Now load the map and see what happens. And look, it's sort of, that variation is now 
quite different. In fact, if I change the this now here, you can see the effect. It's sort of woggling this in interesting ways. So it's a, quite a creative effect that you can use. And you can, of course, always go back to Gaussian blur here. Change this again. If you go too far, by the way, and then if you go to the, the next one here, load the map up and it's going to, there's not so much change, but maybe that's what you want. You're getting different effects at different blur levels. Anyway, well, that's it. How to use the displacement, fix that exploding problem, and then how to use the fix to do a bit of creative stuff. Thank you very much for watching.